Jesus come a storm. You can see it in Mark chapter 4, 35 to 41, Matthew chapter 8, verse 23 to 27, and Luke chapter 8, verse 22 to 25. On the evening of that same day, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they left the crowd. The disciple got into the boat in which Jesus was already sitting, and they took him with them. Other boats were there too. Suddenly, a strong wind blew up, and the waves began to spill over into the boat, so that it was about to fill with the water. Jesus was in the back of the boat, sleeping with his head, with his head on a pillow. The disciple woke him up and said, Teacher, don't you care that we are about to die? Jesus stood up and commanded the wind, Be quiet. Do, and he said to the waves, Be still. The wind died down, and there was a great calm. Then Jesus said to his disciple, Why are you frightened? Have you still no faith? But they were terribly afraid and said to one another, Who is this man? Even the wind and the waves obey him. This is the word of the God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. I really love these stories because it makes me believe uh, na kahit anong pagdaanan ko, kahit gano'ng kabigat yung storm na pinagdadaanan ko sa buhay o pagdadaanan ko, I have a powerful God na like nandyan para sa akin. So, dito sa story na, sa story na to, I strongly believe na Jesus is not sleeping at the backside of the boat para sa akin. He is just waiting sa disciple niya na tawagin siya, nagisingan siya. So, parang tayo, God knows kung ano yung nasa puso natin. God knows kung ano yung pinagdadaanan natin kung gaano kahirap, kung gaano kasakit. Pero he is just waiting for us to call him. He is just waiting for us to to give it to him. Na surrender natin ang lahat sa kanya. And everything will be okay. And let's just trust and have a strong faith na we have him kahit ano pa yung pagdaanan natin. Kahit gaano kalakas na bagyo o nang alon niyan. That is nothing. So, can you imagine yung mga disciple niya, nakita na kung paano siya nag-miracle, nakita na yung mga ginawa niyang kababalaghan, but at the end of the day, in the middle of problem, in the middle of troubles, still di, nag-shake sila. And they wake up, Jesus Christ, they said, Teacher, don't you care that we are about to die? So, kung ikaw, naniniwala ka, naniniwala ka na you have a powerful God, so, bakit ka matatakot? Bakit ka mag-worries? So, can you imagine, when you're praying, kapag ka, may mabigat kang pinagdadaanan sa buhay, when you're praying, you're saying, Lord, hindi ko na kaya, Lord, bakit mo ako pinapabayaan? God, bakit mo ako binibigyan ng ganito kalaking problema? God, pinaparusahan mo pa ako? Papa Jesus, kailan po ba ito matatapos? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine kung Ano yung mararamdaman ni Lord kapag change mo yung situation kasi alam mo sa puso mo na you have God. What if this disciple trust him and believe him? Yung tipong gigisingin lang siya, Lord, um, may bagyo, malakas ang alon, pero you are with us. Alam namin that we are safe. Please help us. Alam mo yung kampante ka. Kampante ka kasi alam mo that you have someone to help you. Whatever the things na pinagdadaanan mo. So, instead of complaining, complaining to, the, to God, instead of saying of those things to, to God, just feel Him. Believe in Him. Trust Him. Lord, alam ko, Madami akong problema. 
Pero alam ko, you will never give this to me kung hindi ito, ito kakayanin. Lord, mahina ako. But you are my strength. God, I need you in my life. I am nothing without you. You know, God will give you everything what you need because that is what God's plan to us. Hindi niya tayo binuhay sa mundong ito para lang padanasin ng mga problema. But God want us to have a good future, to have a better life. But God are just molding us to be a better person. So don't worry kapag may COVID o kapag may malubang sakit yung mga mahal mo sa buhay. Trust Him. Hindi lang nagpapakita ng mga bulag si Lord bumubuhay din siya ng patay. So, how much more yung mga taong mahal mo? How much more yung mga pinagtugay mo? Can you imagine kapag nawala ka ng trabaho, niisip mo, saan ka kukuha ng kakainan? Trust Him. Do you remember kung paano pinakain ni Lord yung 4,000 or 5,000 na tao sa limang tinapay at dalawang fish lang? Trust Him. Trust Him fully and believe na no matter what happened, You have a powerful God. You are the most merciful God na laging nandyan para sumuporta sa'yo. Just be the same person as who you are. Kung sino ka kapag nagdadasal kay Lord, kapag normal ang estado ng buhay mo, ng puso mo, kung sino ka, kung bagano siya i-praise kapag inanso niya yung prayer mo, be the same you. Kung paano mo tawagin at is praise si Lord kapag Meron na, nasa gitna ka ng storm ng buhay mo.